everybody, Paul Hayward here. This is just a quick lesson to show you the C blues scale, the minor blues scale on alto saxophone. <laughs> So we're talking in the right key for sax. If you want to talk in concert pitch, check this video here because I've done it again in concert pitch there for you. And if you've got, if you're learning this scale to play along with somebody else, a concert key instrument is going to be playing in E flat, in the key of E flat. So here we go. Um, C minor pentatonic turned into C blues. <laughs> So what we've we got, we've got a C, an E flat, an F, an F sharp, or a G flat, a G, a B flat, and a C. And that's your C minor blues scale. So that's going to be the root C at the bottom. We're going to miss out the two. We're going to go to E flat, which is a flat three, up to F, which is the four. We're going to play F sharp or G flat, which is the flat five. We're going to play G, which is the fifth. We're going to miss out the sixth. And we're going to play a flat seven, which is the B flat and then stick the root on the top, C again. Now, if you don't know your minor pentatonic, you might want to check out my minor pentatonic video. I would recommend thinking about the blues scale in terms of the minor pentatonic and adding the blues note to it. Okay, now, the main reason why that's a good way of doing it, and why I tend to think of it in that way, is because the blues note can get overused. The blues note adds so much, but if you use it every time you go past that bit of the scale, then you're just going to get used to the sound of it, you're going to get used to the sound of it that the listener is, and it'll lose some of that impact. Now, if you think about it in your soloing and improvising and music making as the minor pentatonic with the blues note added, that's going to mean that when it hits, it has impact and contrast and adds colour to your playing. So if we play a little quick bit of minor pentatonic. Okay, and then we add the, minor, the, the flat five, the blues note in. It's got a slightly different feel to it. A bluesier feel. So in soloing, if we use the minor pentatonic and then occasionally add the, the blues note in, So I'm just dropping that in there. If you're playing that blues note every time we go past, it's going to lose its impact. compared to minor pentatonic, drop it in when you want it. So anyway, I really hope that's been useful to you. If it has, give the video a like, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.